Cloud computing has come a long way since its early beginnings. It all started in the 1960s with the idea of time sharing, which allowed multiple users to access a single computer at different times. Later on, in the 1990s, companies began offering hosting services to customers over the Internet. In 2006, Amazon Web Services launched a cloud computing service called EC2, or also, Elastic Compute Cloud Service, which marked the beginning of cloud computing as we know it today. Other key players in the development of cloud computing include Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud Platform. Before cloud computing, businesses and individuals relied on traditional client-server models where software and data were stored on local machines or servers, also called on-premise. This required significant investment in hardware and software infrastructure and maintenance, and made it difficult for businesses to scale up or down quickly. Another alternative was to outsource computing resources to third-party providers, known as Application Service Providers ASPs, who provided access to remotely hosted software and data through the Internet. However, this model was limited in its scalability and flexibility. So, what exactly is cloud computing? Cloud computing refers to the delivery of computing services, including servers, storage, databases, networking, software, and analytics, over the Internet. It allows users to access these resources on demand without having to invest in expensive hardware and software. We can look at three types of cloud computing. First, public clouds. Public clouds are owned and operated by third-party cloud service providers, like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, or Google Cloud. These providers offer computing resources, storage, and other services to multiple customers through the Internet. Public clouds are typically more cost-effective and scalable than private clouds but they offer less control and customization. Another type is private clouds. Private clouds are owned and operated by a single organization. They are typically used by larger companies or organizations that require greater control over their data and systems. Private clouds can be hosted on premises or with a third party provider, but they offer greater customization and security than public clouds. Lastly, hybrid clouds. Hybrid clouds combine elements of both public and private clouds. They allow organizations to leverage the benefits of public clouds, such as scalability and cost-effectiveness, while still maintaining control over their data and systems. Hybrid clouds can be complex to manage, but they offer greater flexibility and can help organizations optimize for cost and performance. So, how do individuals and organizations use cloud computing in their everyday lives? We use cloud computing for things like email, file storage, and social media. In the business world, Cloud computing has revolutionized industries such as healthcare, finance, and education. Healthcare providers can store and access patient records in the cloud, financial institutions can process transactions more efficiently, and educators can collaborate and share resources with students and colleagues. For example, a large e-commerce company uses cloud computing to host its website, manage its inventory, and process customer orders. By using cloud computing services like Amazon Web Services, the company can quickly scale up or down its infrastructure to handle fluctuations in demand, without having to invest in expensive hardware and software. This allows the company to be more agile and responsive to customer needs while reducing costs. An individual might use a cloud-based storage service like Dropbox or Google Drive to store and access their files from anywhere, on any device. This allows them to easily share documents with others, back up important files, and collaborate with others on projects, without having to worry about the limitations of physical storage devices. They can also access their files from any device with an internet connection, making it easy to work on the go. Now, let's discuss the benefits of cloud computing. One of the biggest benefits is flexibility. You can access your resources from anywhere, anytime, as long as you have an internet connection. Another benefit is scalability. You can easily scale up or down your resources based on your needs. Scaling up or down, in terms of resources and servers, refers to the process of increasing or decreasing the amount of computing resources allocated to a particular application or service. This can include adding or removing servers, increasing or decreasing the amount of processing power, memory, storage, and network resources. Before cloud computing, scaling was often a manual and time-consuming process. IT teams would have to physically add or remove servers, and configure them to work with existing infrastructure. This process required significant upfront investment in hardware and infrastructure, and was often slow and inflexible. With cloud computing, scaling up or down is much easier and faster.
Cloud providers offer on-demand access to computing resources, allowing organizations to quickly and easily increase or decrease their capacity as needed. This allows organizations to be more agile and responsive to changing business needs, while also reducing the costs and complexity of managing their own infrastructure. Another advantage of cloud computing is accessibility. You don't have to invest in expensive hardware and software upfront. You only need to pay for what you use, and nothing more. Cloud computing can also improve collaboration and productivity in organizations. Teams can easily access and share resources and work together on projects in real time. However, one of the drawbacks of cloud computing is that you're relying on a third-party provider to manage your resources. This can be a security concern for some organizations. Are there any better alternatives to cloud computing? Edge computing involves processing data closer to the source or device, rather than sending it to a centralized data center or cloud. Peer-to-peer -peer computing involves sharing computing resources among a network of devices. Each of these options has its own benefits and drawbacks, and the best choice for your organization will depend on your specific needs and requirements. If you need complete control over your resources, then on-premise computing may be a better option for you. However, Keep in mind that on-premise computing can be expensive and time-consuming to manage. Still, cloud computing remains the most popular due to its flexibility, scalability, cost-effectiveness, and wide range of services and tools. The availability of knowledge and expertise is also a contributing factor to the popularity of cloud computing. As cloud computing has become more widely adopted, there has been an increase in the number of resources available to help organizations learn about and implement cloud solutions. If you want to get more familiar with this field, there are several steps you can take to become more familiar with cloud computing. Start by learning the basics of cloud computing. There are many online resources available to help you get started, including free courses, tutorials, and blogs. AWS offers a comprehensive set of free and paid training resources, including online courses, webinars, white papers, and certification programs. Microsoft offers a range of free and paid training resources for its Azure Cloud platform. Online platforms such as YouTube, Udemy, Coursera and alike are full of free and paid resources for you to learn from. Choose a cloud provider and get hands-on experience. You can sign up for free trials or use a student account to get started. AWS and Microsoft Azure offer free accounts for students. There's nothing like learning as you go, getting practical experience. Focus on a specific area of cloud computing. There are different areas of cloud computing such as cloud storage, cloud security, cloud infrastructure, and more. Choose an area that interests you the most and learn as much as you can about it. Expand your knowledge from there. Get certified. Many cloud providers offer certifications that can help you stand out in the job market. AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud, all offer certification programs. Certifications are greatly appreciated by companies looking for talent. Don't forget that practical experience is a must. Join online communities and attend meetups. There are many online communities and meetups dedicated to cloud computing. Joining these communities can help you stay up to date with the latest trends and network with other professionals. Cloud computing has revolutionized the way we interact with technology and has become an integral part of our everyday lives. From storing our data to hosting our applications, the cloud offers infinite possibilities for innovation and growth. As we continue to rely on the cloud for our personal and professional needs, it is important to stay informed and up-to-date on the latest developments in this exciting field. Embracing the power of cloud computing has the potential to change the world, and now is the time to join the journey. Thank you for taking the time to explore the world of cloud computing with me. I hope this discussion has provided valuable insights into the benefits and challenges of this powerful technology. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Additionally, I encourage you to ask any questions or share your thoughts in the comments section below. As we continue to innovate and transform the world with cloud computing, let's work together to stay informed and make the most of this exciting journey. Thank you for watching Shorts on Tech, and we hope to see you again soon.